slime and I bang it up. We bangin' a wind up. It's red and we pour it up. My diamonds they glowing up. She wait and she wanna fuck. Be patient, I'm counting up. Alright, what is up guys? RV stuff back here once again. And today we're gonna be taking a look at a pair of off-white Jordan 1s, the original Chicago colorway they released with the pen. Uh, these are a UA pair or rep, so if you don't fuck with that, get off the channel, it's that easy. Uh, for y'all that do fuck with it and the videos I make, make sure you show me some love, new or old viewer of mine, um, by leaving a like on the video, subscribing, dropping, um, yeah, I already said that, dropping a like on the video, showing some love that way, and then also remember to turn on notifications so you're notified every time I drop some new heat. With that being said, don't forget to follow my Instagram as well. It is in the description at Stuff TV. As always, it's in the description, so you can click that link directly. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, these took about a week and a half, two weeks to get or something like that with DHL. So that's that. I ordered two pairs of shoes, so I got two reviews from the seller on the way. I've reviewed them in the past. And, sorry, I had to reach down and grab something. And I've been a pretty big fan of their quality. Um, and stuff like that in general they're just a good seller so i don't condone buying any of this stuff but you guys do what you want with your money like i do with mine with all that other way guys let's make this video sweet and to the point it's gonna go over the stuff that matters we already know how the shoe looks i mean it's a pretty old shoe at this point so yeah this is the seller information right here so the website is brandsneakertwins.com there's an email instagram is at brandsneakertwins underscore and then the whatsapp right there if you do end up buying from the seller, use RV10 for $10 off, and there is no minimum purchase on that as well. So, um, yeah, if you can't read my writing, this will be in the description as well, minus the website link. Y'all already know about that. So, uh, let me get this out the way, and uh, yeah, let's just take a look at the shoes real quick. Go over the box. Uh, I did order two shoes from them, like I said. I ordered the Ben and Jerry uh, Dunks for a friend, and then these for a friend. They were not personal pairs. The way they did it, they just put shipped the box on deconstructed, um, which is actually pretty smart just to save space. But also, I feel like it stopped the box from getting crushed. Uh, so yeah, I just put them together. Pretty simple stuff. But this is the box itself. Just says Jumpman on on the top. It's gonna give you all a quick little overview of it. This is what the tag looks like. So y'all can see it got that there nothing all over the box pretty much there's just some trash on the bottom uh, branding stuff obviously inside the box is the inside out Jordan box y'all already know how this looks for the most part I'm sure that's all you get Put some paper you get three pairs of laces being white green and yellow or white green and orange sorry um, and then you also do have your zip tie right here which is undone so you can do it however you want yeah so there's that see the text on the shoelaces just so y'all can see a good look it looks good to me placement and yeah it doesn't rub off when I scratch it's a good sign obviously most Retail or UA pairs will rub off over time just from being relaced and unlaced and that sort of stuff, but It's nice to do a little test in the beginning she see if it's actually gonna last but Yeah, so here are the shoes in hand Y'all can check them out. I personally found nothing wrong with them But again, I'm not an expert by any means so you guys can see for yourselves in the video if the quality is good but they do feel good to me i haven't seen any issues like i said no paint flaws glue flaws nothing like that so thus far they do look good there's the text a little zoom in on the text it looks good so yeah y'all let me know what you guys think about these if there's any flaws dm me on instagram and let me know what's up Inside the shoe just says the 10. Get the little off-white arrows. And of course that insole, it does look pressed up, but it will press in as you wear them. It's just because the shoe's really new, so the insole's kind of gonna be pressed up a little bit, but yeah. Tongue, says Nike Air. 
got the little red stitching going across, nice fat exposed foam tongue. This part of the swoosh is also glued down. So it's good, I think it should be like that. We've got the inside of this, just so y'all can see it. Oh, grab that again. Got the 85 in quotations and then a little imprint of the Jordan logo on the inside like there should be. So these do look on, <clears throat> on point thus far. I can't really see anything obviously wrong with them. That's what the toe box looks like. Good look at that. It's hot as a bitch. So if I take a break here and there, it's just cause I'm wiping my sweat, honestly. Like it's actually hot as hell. Oh yeah, I forgot to show the size tag too, wherever that is on these. Oh yeah, it's right here. So y'all can check that out. Size 9.5. Go. And then that, so that's the right shoe, obviously. Just put it like that so y'all can see. This is the left. Got the air in quotations. The text looks good. Font, um, size looks perfect. So it's nice to see that. That's what the logo actually looks like, too. Y'all can see this one. That's what the writing looks like. They did get it right, I think, because the C is where it should be. It should be actually right here, right where it is. It's one of the biggest thing I noticed, honestly. Biggest things I noticed with you check with these is that uh, the toe box also looks good too. Just the height of it and how it's not too too high it looks proper. So. The rest of the shoe. So yeah, y'all. If y'all uh, need any other information, of course, feel free to contact me. Hit me on the Instagram. Of course, that's where I do all my shit for the most part in terms of talking with y'all and stuff like that. I don't really do the comments here, but I do show love in the comments regardless. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below, of course. Um, I'm going to try to keep these reviews relatively short honestly especially on older shoes like this that we've seen unless i'm covering a shoe that is has yet to be released then i'll go over like what the shoe looks like what the materials are like that sort of stuff for the most part i'm going to try to cut these videos into is the quality good is it worth you know spending your money on i can spend mine and yeah that's basically it so i'm just trying to keep it short sweet to the point um so y'all get a good video and you don't have to watch here for like 30 fucking minutes of every single little detail of shoe that's been released 10 times you know so anyways guys appreciate the love appreciate the support i'm gonna catch you on the next one stay blessed if you're new to your channel show some love subscribe to your boy and with that being said catch you on the next one peace